Okay, um, quickly, let's look at urban problems. And this should be lesson number six, um, urban problems. So um, some of the major reasons or some of the major problems around urbanization are uh, housing problems and creation of slums and transport problems, overcrowding. Um, you have things like urban crimes, waste disposal, sewage issues, air, land and water pollution. So if you are asked an exam to state um, or describe some urban problems, those are the urban problems. But let's look at them into um, detail, like we look at the problems, uh, their causes and also possible solution, the one that is more specified in your syllabus. Now, in your syllabus, the urban problems are housing, traffic congestion, inequality, conflict over land use change, then pollution. And in that um, pollution, we need to look at air, water, noise, and visual pollution. Now, so quickly, let's start with traffic congestion. Traffic congestion, what are the causes of traffic congestion? Is one, when you have inadequate road network, inadequate road network, road are not designed for um, high number of vehicles or for the number of vehicles using them that cause traffic congestion now there is limited space to build roads we cause traffic now not enough street parking therefore uh, cars are parked on the roadside which cause obstructions now people don't use public transport they prefer using their private uh, car uh, car for transport so that will also lead to the high number of cars on roads now car ownership is increasing Many people commute to work, so you normally have rush hours where people go to work and time where they are going back home. Now, focus on commercial activities. So many people travel to shop businesses in the CBD. Road network um, and also road work, sorry. When um, there is road construction, it can lead to traffic. Or when there is an accident, it can also lead to traffic. Um, things like uh, population increasing, therefore the need for more cars. That will lead to high number of traffic also. There is also um, population increase. Um, so more cars, okay. Lack of investment in road building and public transport scheme. All this will lead to traffic congestion. Now, some of the advantage of managing traffic is, uh, describe advantages of managing traffic is that Traffic is reduced on the main road within the urban areas. So these are the advantage of managing traffic. Um, so another one is journey time is quicker when traffic is, um, is managed. There is no need to park in congested central region. Now costs are reduced for commuters. Access to central area. Now air pollution will be reduced. Noise pollution will be reduced. Less accident and um, people can walk pedestrianized to central areas so these are advantages of managing traffic now what are the impact what are the impacts of traffic congestion now some of the major impact of traffic congestion is there will be usually delay uh, of people people will go late to work to schools and to whichever destination they are going to now it will result in loss of revenue for businesses goods delivered will be delayed uh, it causes rage, frustration, stress, just like my guy here. Now, he uses more fuel, so it's, you, it's more expensive. You buy more fuel. It increases accident and delay emergency services, like um, when somebody is sick and you need to take them to the hospital. This traffic congestion can delay um, the movement of some of these emergency services. It results in pollution and which causes asthma and lungs disease. Uh, it increases noise level within the area, which result, it results in loss of time, revenue for business, and goods delivery will be delayed. Now, these are impact of uh, having an area being crowded, or well, sorry, an area being, uh, having traffic congestion in an area. Now, what are the strategies needed to reduce traffic congestion? Now, the major strategies are here in this concept map. However, let's just look, let's describe them here. Now, to reduce traffic, you need to have the build, you need to build park and ride facilities. Park and ride facilities. So you build car parks 
on the edge of the city and provide public transport, bus or train into the city center. Reduce cost of public transport. Now, so lower amount which need to be paid to use buses, uh, trains and the rest goes a long way. Now, introduce congestion charge at peak times. So you raise cost to motorists which have to be paid when they enter a specific area at a busy time or rush hour. Then you build metro now where you construct an underground uh, rail system. We help to reduce traffic. Now car license plates restriction where cars with specific registration can only enter certain area or use specific road on certain days. Pedestrianization, so prevent traffic using specific road by allowing only people on foot into certain areas. Then you create cycle lanes where you allow only people riding bicycles to use part of the road. Now, these are methods you can employ in order to control traffic. Now, the other problem of urban growth is housing. That problem of urban growth is housing. So, now why many people who live in urban areas live in poor quality housing? Now, one is because of lack of good quality housing. That's why people will live in poor quality housing. Sometimes if it is available, it is expensive, so they cannot afford it. So that means there are many people cannot afford it because they are jobless. So it goes together with that. Now, many people have moved to the city. So increase in urban growth, so increase in urbanization. Many people are now in the city. So the, sometimes the amount of house available is not enough for them. Also, there is little investment from authorities in housing. Little investment from authorities in housing. Um, demand for housing exceeds supply. So there will be lack. When you have many houses are old and in need of renovation, then lack of space to build. Now, these are reasons why you find that uh, many people live in poor quality housing. Now, attempt what has been done to reduce the problem of uh, housing in urban areas. Now, first, like, uh, okay, we have things like building housing estates, and we help. Um, building high rise flat, we help site and service scheme we help self-help scheme we help now i think i will explain this site and service scheme and self-help scheme in um lesson seven when we look at urbanization i will explain that but you just need to know that let me just give a quick recap site and service scheme is where government create a site provide services um, uh, within that site and sell the land properties at a very cheaper rate so people can actually build then self-help scheme are things like when you collect self self loans, you collect cheap loans, um, you use it to buy your own personal mortgage house or you build your own house. Now, provide tools, training and building materials so people can use to construct houses. You install water pipes, you install electricity and you improvement of grants and low interest loans. Now, this will help in order to reduce the poor quality state of the housing. Now, another problem in urban areas as a result of urban growth is inequality. Inequality, where some people are rich while others are poor. That's inequality. Inequality is also the, when there is variation in wealth or variation in the standard of living of people. Example, in things like housing or cars, that is what inequality is. Now, causes of inequality is because lots of the wealth created is in the city, is in the commercial center, so it's not in rural areas or villages. Now, the highly paid jobs are in the city, but many people do not have employment or are poorly paid as they don't possess the skills for or the necessary education needed. Now, many work in the informal sector with no state benefit for those in poverty. Now, there are so many poor people that is impossible, that it is impossible for charity to help them all. So there will definitely be inequality. Racism and discrimination and also exploitation. All these have led to poverty. Now, what are the problems of poverty? 
problem sorry all these have led to inequality now what are the problems of inequality is when you have high level of poverty no money is a problem uh, inequality will lead to high level of poverty and that will lead to high crime rate now because there is no money they have poor housing conditions it will lead to the growth of squatter settlements slums and shanty towns they are all the same thing now some people cannot afford education for their children now some people cannot afford medical care some people cannot afford clean water they can't afford electricity they cannot afford good sanitation so homes are in poor state uh, they cannot afford good food there will be social conflict within that community all these are problems of inequality now the next thing we need to look at is conflict over land use change these are urban problems so what are the causes of conflict over land use change now some of the major problems or causes of this conflict in land use change is people may have lived in houses for many years so people have to move out so that will cause conflict if they've lived there for a long time and you tell them to move out that will cause conflict now some people do not want to change so even though you want to renovate the area they just like it the way it is how old it is they just want to be there now one of the reasons is it will lead to loss of community spirit so if you change the land use aspect you find out that the community uh, spirit might break and the rest uh, this ancestral stuff the, they prefer their tradition to be preserved now conflict over land use change if you change the land use it can actually lead to traffic congestion because more people can come there now it can lead to danger for children going to nearby schools so they prefer them going to schools within the community so when you change the land use you remove the education system there or the school there to another community and they have to travel or go by go, go there for for education it can cause them, the danger to them now uh, more noise pollution from industries that you want to cite in order when you want to create a change in land use um, you can also have things like air pollution from the industries visual pollution from new buildings you build there uh, new housing could be too expensive and loss of jobs you get it in uh, or change in employment structure now people feel land should have been used for something else now when you see conflict over land use changes it, it simply means you want to change what the, the the land within that community is being used for uh, possibly it's for agriculture and people within there are also are into farming then you now come in and you want to build an industry you want to change it you want to build a dam you want to build a golf course now that is changing what the land is being used for and that can result to conflict with the local people and some of those conflict or the causes of those conflict is what we've just discussed now because there'll be air pollution from your there'll be noise pollution from construction there'll be visual pollution and all these can make the people that were there to uh, uh, um, create a scene and sometimes protest against uh, this change that you want to bring in the land use system okay lastly on this urban problems is pollution now uh, pollution is the release of toxic unwanted substance into the environment toxic unwanted substance into the environment and this including uh, uh, so this will lead to air pollution and water pollution noise pollution and visual pollution so in the case of air pollution energy generation using coal oil and natural gas will pollute the air vehicle emission pollutes the air industrial activities causes air pollution airplane emission causes air pollution deforestation mining and traffic all this will cause air pollution so if you ask the causes of air pollution all this will go then when we look at um, water pollution is things like raw sewage uh, disposed into rivers and groundwaters, uh, contamination of drinking water and domestic waste into rivers, oil waste into rivers, uh, water source, oil spillage into water source can cause water pollution. Uh, noise pollution, things like traffic, air traffic noise, car traffic noise, construction site catering and nightlife clubs and uh, factories industries and uh, noise in residential areas from loud music causes noise pollution then visual pollution at litters when you litter the environment you find out that it doesn't look beautiful anymore 
it causes visual pollution where you have ugly buildings it causes visual pollution um, things like uh, derelict land that land that is damaged from extraction of natural resources it, re it reduces the beauty uh, of that areas of that area thereby causing uh, pollution then we have graffiti graffiti is are those paintings you have in an area people just paint on the wall draw on the wall uh, those are graffiti and it, re it causes pollution visual pollution to that environment okay now what are the impact of this pollution uh, air pollution could make breathing difficult uh, it causes asthma noise pollution could make it hard for people to concentrate sleep causes stress it causes headache um, water pollution could cause the spread of waterborne disease it lead to it affect aquatic life it can lead to death of fishes can lead uh, so those are visual pollution also could stop people from selling their homes and which because it has spoiled the view okay so these are the problems uh, causes and solution of urban